Wonk's up, guys. Wonka doing, everyone. Hello, Wonkers. Oh, okay, no, I can't do that. It's Willy Wonka time. Director Paul King and the rest of the creator team behind Paddington Films bring us this Christmas a very jolly prequel on how Willy Wonka came to be. Two things worth noting. I don't honestly remember all that much about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I find musicals to be genuinely hit or miss. And yet, I found myself enjoying this one quite a bit. With dreams of opening a shop in a city renowned for its chocolate, a young and poor Willy Wonka discovers that the industry is run by a cartel of greedy chocolatiers. It's probably worth straight off just addressing the theme which I've titled this video on, what probably comes to no surprise if any of you have seen Paddington 1 or 2, but this is just a real charming feel-good movie. Timothy Chalamet had big boots to fill, at least one boot to fill, with Gene Wilder and both Johnny Depp playing the role previously and he does very much make this his own Wonka. His performance in this is for me undoubtedly the reason why I enjoyed this film. He fills every scene with this humble blend of naivety, endearment and positivity. While I'd say it's more so through his regular actions more than it is when he's in song, it's still easy enough for it to pass on to you, just feeling pretty good when watching this. I mean the story itself is basic enough, but its purpose here is just to show off what Timothy Chalamet is able to bring to the table. He's surrounded by a colourful cast as well, all good enough for the purpose they serve, and everyone is a, basically a theatre parody of their character types. You've got the moustache twirling evil villains, the innocent child we see the wonder through, and the simplistic side characters all with their one important trait. Kayla Lane has a fine debut with a singing voice to make up for the inexperience in acting and the two unsurprising standouts when used were Olivia Coleman and Rowan Atkinson whenever they tried to carry out the wrongdoings but subsequently thwarted by Wonka and the gang. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised how little the Impa Loompas were in this. Hugh Grant as our tiny little orange companion was barely in it compared to what I was really expecting. Not necessarily a bad thing though as I think the film does a solid job at telling the story without the need to rely on them. It's probably worth noting not to focus too much on the logistics of how the characters make A or B happen because it won't do anything for you. It's there to serve as an enhancement to the chocolatey magic in the music that this prequel is really wanting to show off. And the sets for the majority are wonderful. You can tell which bits have been enhanced with green screen backgrounds though and they're purely noticeable just because the build of the physical sets themselves are so great. And then being a musical we should probably talk about the songs and they're good but I couldn't say any stood out in particular. Some of them I was tapping my foot to but I'll be honest most of them I've already completely forgotten about. And I think maybe harshly that the film knew none of these were the crown jewels per se either as they finished off the film with the OG song from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But that's not to say they weren't accompanied with fun dance choreography or the like. Whilst I wouldn't list the songs as certified bangers, each one fitted well into the story and served its role in enforcing the theme of the scene or transitioning us into the next state. But in summary I can't see why the whole family wouldn't enjoy this. Young kids might get bored a little bit in the middle of the film where it's less colourful and has that classic act two where things go wrong for the main characters. I'm not really a professional child though so it's hard for me to guess. But as a whole it's fairly colourful, well paced and there's nothing in here to make it unsuitable for young watchers. I don't even think you really need to have seen the original films to enjoy this. I could barely remember them and it didn't slow me down on any of this. If you aren't into musicals this still won't be your thing but it's something for a rainy day for sure. Or if you're patient enough just wait for it to come out on streaming. So that's Wonka, more or less a recommendation from me. Maybe you've already seen it, it came out last weekend and if you have seen it let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff and as always stay tuned for more reviews on movies, anime and video games. Until next time guys take care, bye bye.